I want to say something about the building of the pyramids because there's been a lot of speculation as to how they were built. What's interesting about the pyramids is that while each block is a two-ton cube, they fit perfectly close to each other. I mean, this is dry masonry. There's no cement involved. This is one block on top of another. And they fit so close that you really can't stick a razor blade between two of them. They are close. Well, how did they get this precision? That's one thing. The other thing is how did they get them up there? Now, as far as precision is concerned, that's just a matter of um, a training and skill and, of course, using proper measurements. By the way, we have sets, complete sets, of Egyptian building tools and the carpenter's uh, needs. I mean, for instance, the level, plumb line, of course, and the rulers and measurements and all kind, and the 3, 4, 5 triangle, which gives you a perfect right angle. All of this is available, which they used. As far as lifting the blocks is concerned, and they're always struggling, what did they do? Did they put them on a sled and slide it up mud? Or what? Until somebody came across some things and discovered something very interesting. And this, you know, it's simply using your head. You take a block of stone, it weighs two tons, you cut wooden lunettes, you put four of them on four sides of the block and you tie a rope around them, or a belt, and this becomes a cylinder. Then you roll it up or down. You roll it up, remove the lunettes, put it into place. There you have it. There you have it. it. Solves the problem, and this is the way they probably did it, and they raised these to a very great height. So, uh, we can tell from their positioning of the uh, pyramids from their astronomical fixes which they put into their buildings and into their uh, structures and from many other things. They were quite advanced and sophisticated when it came to building and certainly to architecture. When they built the pyramids then, originally they built, and you could say all of that work, all of that tremendous labor that was put into the building of the pyramids, and by the way, uh, it was not slave labor, it was uh, labor. They employed the people, they fed them, they paid them. But it was an expenditure, a tremendous expenditure of royal funds, which was actually the people's money. And then uh, by the uh, fifth dynasty, they decided that's enough. Uh, too much goes into that. And they began to do things on a more modest scale. And the other thing they did was to establish a place uh, which they called the Valley of the Kings, where they would actually take the mummies of the pharaohs and not always put them in their tombs, but put them in this hidden cave. That's a later development.